It's the Renault Megane Scenic. It's the best car on the road, according to the judges, and I can't think why. Well, if you think that the Scenic looks like a cross between a conventional five-door family hatchback and a mini MPV, a mini people carrier, if you like, you're absolutely right, because that's what it is. It's a wacky design. There's nothing else like it. It's the only small MPV on the market, although Renault likes to call it an activity car rather than an MPV. And our very own Ginny Buckley caught up with Renault's head of design, who talked her through the new Megane Scenic. I think that uh, the market is changing dramatically right now. And uh, the days are over of cars where you are hoping to make 3,000 a day and sell 3,000 a day. Uh, it's a market which is a market of, uh, of, of offer rather than demand. And so therefore you really have to understand your customer. And clearly with the Scenic we have, we, are, we have a vehicle which is so different to anything which has been built so far. There's been a craze for MPVs of course, but they are a little bit too expensive for the average family. And with the Scenic we're offering a new type of car for European families. And I think it's going to go really well. The thing that really puzzles me about this car is that if anybody was going to be enthusiastic about a car like this it should be somebody like me a 30 something bloke on a kind of modest to middle income in other words you know a kind of ordinary guy in the street with a couple of kids which i have and yet i don't want a car like this and my kids don't want a car like this i mean to say that it's multi-purpose and activity isn't enough for me. It just doesn't have that gotta have it factor. And uh, like I said, I find it quite ironic that I'm the perfect candidate. I should be the sort of bloke getting excited about a car like this because it, in theory, suits my lifestyle and it accommodates my kids and it's got the versatility and all the things that go with having children. But quite frankly, on a long-term basis, I wouldn't be seen dead in a car like this. And the reason is that it just screams out of people, family man. And I'm not sure when I drive down the street, I want to demonstrate that I'm a family man. And similarly, for women, I'm not sure that when a woman drives a car like this, she wants to scream to the world, yes, I'm dropping off the kids at school, or I'm taking the old man down to the railway station because he's off to the office for the day or I'm going to meet the girls for coffee morning and if you drive a car like this you might as well have a sticker down the side saying that sort of thing because you are a very particular type of driver if you go for a car like this you're a family driver you've got kids you, you've got to pick kids up from school go shopping do you traditionally like people carriers I don't actually I think they look a bit ridiculous what do you think of that seat uh, that seat fabric and those colours. It's very wild. <laughs> it's quite compact actually, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit shorter than the normal, yeah. the normal sort it's... of people carrier. You really have to ask yourself, how often will you need to move those seats in and out of the vehicle? Can you get by with an ordinary five-door hatchback? Can you indeed get by with a small five-door hatchback? Something like a Volkswagen Polo or a Ford Fiesta, for example? If the answer to that question is yes, then you could be saving yourself a hell of a lot of money. If you really need to remove those seats, if you really need all this load lugging capacity, if you really need the versatility that it offers, then go for the Scenic, but you'll be paying a high price.